In all likelihood, these three people came through Mexico. They didn't come through here. I can tell you that for sure. We would have checked in our database. But for them to be in this country, to be able to commit these type of crimes is unconscionable. The federal government has put the American people in jeopardy. Our intelligence section, who works very closely with the FBI, has also identified that the most dangerous gangs in the world are now in Miami from Venezuela. They make MS-13 look like school kids. They're not going to stay just in Miami. They're going to go where they need to go to do what they do. They don't know if it's Dade, Broward, Palm Beach County. They just go to do what they're going to do, and we're going to have to deal with them. You know, the, forget about the three million people that came across the border, put their hands up to Border Patrol and says, I give up. You know, they get the cell phone and the gift card and all that kind of garbage. What about the 1.5 million people that they call gotaways? Those are the people that don't want to go to get caught by Border Patrol because they're cartel, they're gang members, they're wanted, they're packing fentanyl. I watched a surveillance video that was taken down in Texas of 10 guys, military age, dressed in camouflage, backpacks, they had carpet on their shoes so they didn't leave footprints in a military formation coming into the country. What do you think they're here for? They're not here to play the lotto. They're going to do bad things. The director of the FBI testified that it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when we're going to have something bad happen here.